walks by and laughs. Karma. <laughs> Karma is a cat. <laughs> Purring on my lap because it loves me. Mama moves, mom who cares. Hasn't seen friends since it first stared. Amanda moves, a fan, no doubt. Seen it more than she could count. We're so happy you're here too. As we rewatch friends and we say moo. Two moo points. I'm Mama Moo. Amanda Moo. We're back for another Two Moo Points episode. This time we're talking about the fifth episode. The fifth, fifth episode. Fifth episode of Friends, season one, titled The One with the East German Laundry Detergent. Weird title, but then it makes sense. The writers are Jeff Greenstein and Jeff Strauss, so the Jeffs. This is the first time. Uh, writers. And we got a new director for the first time, and it's a woman. Yay. Pamela Freiman is her name. And... I looked her up, and she directed all but 12 episodes of How I Met Your Mother. Oh, wow. That's really impressive. Yes. That's a lot of directing. A lot of directing. Original air date was October 20th, 1994, and it's the seventh, seventh anniversary of Ross and Carol's consummating their relationship. Oh, that's right. It aired on October 20th. So the week before, he was saying, today's October 20th, and a week later, they got another episode where they don't talk about it. Um, number of viewers, 18.6 million, Ooh. a little lower. Mm-hmm. It's still not the lowest that it gets, but still okay. So good. Um, we got three storylines, and I I realized that I would call this episode Four Breakups and a Kiss. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Chandler and Phoebe have a double breakup plan <laughs> where both will break up with the people they're seeing. Let's just say that Phoebe is more successful than Chandler. And quicker. <laughs> and just better in all ways. Um... <laughs> Um, Joey gets Monica to go on a double date with him, but what he really plans to do is break up the couple and the couple, other couple they're going on the double date with and date the girl. And then he's like, well, Monica can date the girl. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is going on in his brain to think that that's going to work. <laughs> but whatever. And then Ross and Rachel have a sort of, but not really first date uh, while doing laundry at the local laundry mat. And that's all I'll say because yeah. there's too much in that. Okay. Ready for our mood points? Yeah, what do you, yeah. yeah. So when it when it starts, I have that men, what men and women can do that the other sex can't. Yeah. So what they're talking like it starts with Ross saying like you can pull out your bra just through your sleeve and ta-da, that's it. Yes. Which I don't understand how that's like a cool <laughs> thing that women can do. Like they just think men that's... don't even have to wear bras, so <laughs> I don't get that. Um, Joey says, like, you can just look down at breasts anytime you want. Yeah. I don't know how you get work done, is what he says. <laughs> um, and then women say, you can, you, pee, you can pee standing up. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot with that, though, too. You can pee outside. Pros and cons. You can, yeah, you don't have to wait in line. Um, no, no, you don't have no. your period. <laughs> there's so many. And then the guys end with double orgasm. Wait, multiple orgasm. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I say... <laughs> gender gender stuff I don't know but it was it was funny it was funny um so that's the whole cold open then we have the title sequence same nothing changes and then we get into our body stuff so uh Chandler sets the scene right off the bat going Saturday night like oh yeah Saturday yeah. night he's so excited and then it's like you don't have a date do you and he says not a one is what he <laughs> says yeah and then I don't know who like says one of them says like oh you should just break up with um janice yes. hmm, janice who's janice um and he's <laughs> like oh i hate breaking up and handing them the note and then trying to run out <laughs> before they finish the note whatever and then i don't know phoebe's like oh we can do it together <laughs> she, right. she, she wants just, to break up with her boyfriend yeah too, so tony oh tony. it's just maybe it's this hunger strike or something i don't know it's just not the same so um, and Chandler's like, I don't know. I feel like she might think we're ganging up on her double, double breakup. Double, yeah, oh, that's pretty funny. Um, but they they plan to do it that night, and then we find out that Rachel is going to go do laundry at the laundry mat with Monica, and Ross is like, Oh, funny thing, I'm gonna be doing laundry. Let let's do it together. He just wants to be anywhere. Anywhere he can near Rachel, cause yeah, and it's then starting. And then we meet um, 
Joey's old girlfriend. Angela walks in. Yeah. And you can and just tell that she's walking in to just make to put, a, Yeah, to make a point. To make a point. Like, I look really she good. She goes, look what you want. Hi, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Triviani, didn't she say his whole name? No, Triviani is said for the first time in the next episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good one, though. Um, yeah, and um, she Angela is played by Kim Gillingham. And I I looked her up, but I have no notes for her. So um, I think she's teaching acting. I think she still does acting, but I think she also is a teacher. I'd like to thank uh, my mentor, um, Kim Gillingham, and all the fellow creative uh, dreamers. I am not the actor I am without the work that we share. Anyways, that scene's over. It kind of sets the whole the three storylines. Um, oh, it is very obvious that Joey wants to get back wants with her, to, even yeah. though she's with Bob now. <laughs> I like her voice that she uses. And Bob is has all these good qualities. Yeah. And, so she's happy. Mm -hmm. But we were great to get, whatever. Joey's <laughs> whole spiel thing. Next scene is at Monica's and Rachel's. Um, and we get our second ugly naked guy sighting, which That's is right. so good. Uh, Monica sees him and says, Ugly naked guys laying kitchen tiles. Oh. <laughs> it's so gross. I love it. No, um, just the image. And then, so the whole scene is basically Joey trying to convince Monica to go on the double date, but telling her that um, it's, it's her, Angela it's Angela's and her brother. brother. Yeah. Which is hilarious because as she's you'll oh, see, it's so twisted. Like she yeah. does not understand. Like it's she's so all over confusing. her brother. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's just, but what I didn't know was that it's very strange to see a scene between Joey and Monica. I feel like they're the two uh, that very Joey rarely actually, yeah. have a scene together. So it's just, it just feels strange. Um, do you have anything? No. Okay. So she agrees to go. And... Yeah. So the next scene is at Ross's apartment. I, this is, I guess, the first time we're seeing Ross's bedroom. I assume. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Probably. And Ross is on the phone, and one of my favorite moments that I just never have noticed before, Chandler's playing with his dinosaur toys. Oh, yeah. That's... And Ross says, hold on one second, and he goes, okay, he says, you need, you need not touch any of those. You need to not touch any of those. Because... <laughs> They're important to him, <laughs> and stop playing with my toys. I just love it. Also, I noticed that there's a violin hanging on the wall. Oh. We do find out that Ross is very musical um, with other instruments. Um, later on. Later on. Never with the violin, but who yeah. knows? Um, and then also, Chandler basically tries to convince him that this is a first date. You and... Yeah. Oh, because he found out that Monica's not going to be able to go. Right, now so now it's going. just going to be the two of them. And so Chandler's like, it's a date. And Ross like, is like, really? Get rid of those like, dirty underwear. Oh, and like, that don't, was use, so don't use that fabric softener snuggles. And like, first time she's going to see your underwear and you want it to be dirty? dirty? <laughs> and I love Ross's, no, uh no, -uh, -uh, it's not a first date. Like, he's, I don't know, like, oh my God, what? Then we go to the restaurant where um, Rachel, no, Monica and Joey are waiting for Bob Angela. and Angela. Um, and... Oh, and Monica finds out that um, Joey has never met Bob because she's oh, like, is he, tell me about is, him, is he tall, yeah, is, is he short, and he goes, uh-huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you've never met the guy. No. But then Bob walks in and she's like, oh, oh he's, he's handsome. handsome. He's played by Jack Armstrong. And again, I did not write notes, but it's okay. he was interesting. Yeah. I think he was interesting. And he, he didn't he, look familiar. He looks totally different now. He's like um, the other guy who looks totally different. Oh, yeah. There's another guy in another episode where I was like, you would... Oh, the um, the one with the beard. Alex. Alan. Alan. That's it. Yeah, he's aged. He just doesn't look the same. Yeah. But, I mean... Well, it was the 90s. years ago. Yeah. Almost 30. Okay, next scene is at Central Perk. We're getting the scene between Chandler and Phoebe's double breakup. <laughs> and it's, again, very strange to see them together. Yeah. Which is weird because I love them. I know, they're so, great together. Yeah. Oh, Both God. of these teams were good. I mean, it's just, a, like you said, uncommon. It's just, yeah, for the rest of the series. Um, and so, in walks in Tony and Janice, I think, I don't know. They Janice just, first, right? I don't know. I think so. It all kind of happens at the same time. Yeah. Like, Phoebe's done before Janice can even say hi, basically. Tony goes over, she's sitting at the bar, and within seconds he's walking out. He's mm -hmm. hugging her and walking yeah. out. Um, and Janice walks in, and you said, she's the one with the voice, right? Yeah. The voice. The voice. Janice. This is our first time meeting Janice. She will be in 19 episodes. 
But wow. even that seems not like not a lot, 19, but she makes an impression, that's oh, for sure. Yeah. She's played by Maggie Wheeler, and she's just I mean, she's she's she is. But her voice isn't that strong strong in the beginning here until she goes ow 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 <laughs> yeah so it i don't know you can sense it though her laugh yeah. and i don't know oh yeah she things. does laugh and her <laughs> laugh is um and her first line ever in the show is oh my god oh isn't that weird it's yeah. not like oh my I god know, but yeah. it, she does say oh my god that's yeah. her first i don't know <laughs> um and i noted that janice's hair is so pretty yeah she looks really pretty yeah like it was like, I, cur I want curly hair because I have straight hair. You want a straight mm -hmm. hair? Yeah. It's that whole thing. When her hair is curly and just like full. And has, really pretty. has Chandler um, been drinking lots of espressos at this point or not yet? No. <laughs> not yet. No. Okay. He's, I didn't know if he had No, one. he's easing into it. Okay. Um, oh, I love Jan. Um, so Janice's first laugh that she delivers on this show, Chandler's disgusted face while he walks away. He's just like, <laughs> Okay, next we get to go to the laundry mat where we meet the horrible woman. I think that's what her um, character description is oh. um, on IMDb. But I think um, Rachel refers to her as this hor that horrible woman. Um, she is so cool looking. Like I love her makeup oh, and her like and the hat, the hat and the shirt. Like she's yeah. just a character. Like for sure. And she looks really tough, kind of. Oh yeah. She's but she's small and but yeah. I don't know. She yeah. She has that. A little intimidating mm -hmm. energy. Yeah. She's played by Camille Saviola. Sadly, she passed away last year. Really? I know, that's oh. sad. But she does, like, she's only in this one episode, but... She's funny. She's pretty great. Um, so what the whole horrible woman thing starts when Rachel has, I think, her basket on a oh, machine. Those lines on her face. <laughs> what? What's our line? The lines on Oh, you want face? me to teach you about zebra lines? No. Zebra lines. This is what I learned in my my TV production skill, oh, it shows when wrong. things are really bright. Oh, well, we are really bright. There like, you we go. shine because we're bejeweled. <laughs> like oh, Swift. that explains it so well. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the whole horrible woman thing starts with, I think Rachel has her basket on a machine and then the lady comes and moves her basket and like and notices like, hey. that there's no, there's no clothes, there's no suds. Mm-hmm. So no suds, no save is what she says. And Rachel's just like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I don't know. You can just tell that Rachel doesn't want to get into it. Right. No fighting for Rachel. Um, and then um, um, yes. and then Ross like saves the day. And it's just like, oh, no, you know that's not real. That's not the rules. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He, he just saves the day. Yeah. And the woman like reluctantly is like, Fine. Okay. Whatever. She walks away. Yeah. She walks away. She takes her clothes out of the machine. She put stuff in there already. Mm -hmm. Um, and you said, Oh, he's the hero. Mm hmm But then he um says like, oh, because Rachel's like, I can never do that. And he says, Well, that's because you're such a sweet, gentle <laughs> And then he like realizes, okay, let's uh, get back. Yeah, this is let's not date. get lost into <laughs> describing her. And he shows her his detergent and it's uber wise. It's it's East new, it's tough, German. it's German. I don't know, he gives descriptions. But that's why the title of the episode Uber is. Um, and it's roughly translated to ultra white. Oh. It's not a real detergent, but the box is super cool. Like when you see pictures of it online, mm -hmm. it's just fun that they, you know. He's so proud. And the prop people like put in time to, to decorate or design, it's pretty cool. Um, and then we find out that Rachel has never done her own laundry, even though the episode before she tells her old friends that I do laundry, I do my own yeah. laundry. Supposedly and she doesn't done. know to separate things. No, she, no. And so Ross has to teach her. Yeah. And then um, she says, what about these? My, oh, because he says delicates would be your panties, bras, <laughs> your delicates. And um, she said, what about these? My white cotton panties. <laughs> and he said, that, that. That <laughs> is a, what, a judgment call. Yeah. I put them with the whites. Of course. <laughs> All you do is white some colors. Like, you don't need to. Cotton isn't like yeah. nice. Um, and then we go to the restaurant, back to the restaurant with the date between Angela, Bob, Joey, Monica. Um, and um, Monica is, oh, Monica asked them where they grew up and they give two different answers. And Monica's like, 
Oh. oh. And Joey goes, oh my god, I suddenly had the feeling I was falling. <laughs> Just to change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets away with it because he's amazing. For now. Um, and you notice that his shirt and his suit jacket match. Yeah, like match. they're the same color. Very cool. Like a brownish. Yeah. Remember, um, we just used to wear that on um, when Millionaire first came out. The same color? Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> Regis, you're so cool. And then we get um, later on in the scene where they're at a table and Joey is setting up Bob for... The destruction of their relationship by saying something about her, how she eats like a oh yeah, and like she a does mouse or something. Mm -hmm. She nibbles. Yeah, and he's just setting Bob up to like find that annoying. I don't know. And then we see Monica and Angela in the bathroom talking, and Monica's like, "Bob's great," and I don't know. And oh, and then Angela says, "And he's great in bed." I think. I know. And then Monica <laughs> says, "My brother never even told me when he <laughs> lost his virginity, but in." The episode before oh, he did tell he yeah he, he said, said I told everyone and yeah. Monica's like oh yeah mistakes I know but that's bad writing I'm kidding Actually, only when you dissect it otherwise you wouldn't even <laughs> yeah it's just so funny that it was this the episode before yeah um, go back to Central Park for the Phoebe and Chandler breakup um, Phoebe and Chandler reaction to Janice's reaction. Basically, I thought it was really funny because Phoebe was in the background going like, oh my gosh, she's not taking this so well. <laughs> like, she's freaking out because what was she going? She was like, stop she's, it, stop it, stop it. She was like, stop it, stop crying. And uh, Chandler's like, this isn't about you. And Janice goes, oh, I know this is not about me. This is totally about your fear of commitment. Mm -hmm. This is a deleted uh, scene. And he goes, what fear of commitment? I don't have a fear of commitment. And she goes, oh, please. And he goes, I don't. Oh, please, she says. I don't. I'm ready to commit anytime. And she just goes, really? <laughs> that was deleted. But I just took a note that they have incredible chemistry. Yeah, they're good together. They are so good together. Which is why she... So does he give her back the socks that she brought for him? The bullwinkle socks? Yeah, does she socks? take them with him? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she gives one of them. Bullwinkle, bullwinkle, bullwinkle. or... Rock Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> I don't know, Mom. Yeah, Next question. time we watch, we'll have to figure that out. We go back to the laundromat. Do you have something? Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> no, I would. Chandler. Um, Not yet. The okay. next one. The laundromat, we, um, let's see. Okay, I know this is good. Oh, Rachel is talking about how she doesn't know. How, you know, how she doesn't know how to do her own laundry. But I, oh, and then she says, but I feel if I can do this, you know, I can, if I can do my own laundry, there isn't anything I can't do. Which kind of is supported by the episode where she was freaking out about, like, maybe I shouldn't do this or whatever. Yeah, and, well, it's... Learning. And we find out in this episode that her so dad learning. offered her Mercedes. Oh, yeah, went, that's right. She went back home. Went back home. Um, and Ross is like, no, like, yeah, no, it's totally, like, this is great. And then he opens the laundry bin and he goes, uh-oh. And she goes, uh-oh, what? And he goes... <laughs> Uh-oh, the laundry's done. It's a song we sing. Uh-oh, the laundry's done. He doesn't want to break it to her that all the whites turned pink. Because, because of one red, red sock. Because Rachel loves her red sock. But the good news is that now everything matches. No, it looks like a... Per, uh, as a She's going to look like a big marshmallow peep. <laughs> That's right. That was a great line. Yeah, and then the horrible woman, while Rachel's freaking out, oh, yeah. laughs. Walks by and laughs. Karma. <laughs> Karma is a cat. <laughs> Purring on my lap because it loves me. Then we go back to the restaurant and Rich, uh, Monica's saying, something went wrong with Underdog. Underdog was a 1960s cartoon. And she's, talking about, Underdog. she's talking about the blimp. Thanksgiving blimp. And in a few episodes, oh. the first Thanksgiving episode, it's called the one where Underdog gets away. So... I love we like underdog. underdog. We love underdog in the show. I like. I looked up the picture of um, what he looked like. So he was on Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. And then someone, one of them says cocktails in Appalachia, and you laughed. And I found out that that like it's suggesting incest. I know Appalachia. That's. I feel like that's silly though. Yeah. Because what everyone from Appalachia? I don't know. No, but you, else. cousins. Sure, sure. But. Um. And then the breaking up, uh, basically Monica finds out about the whole 
Well, yeah. Dating. As Angela's nibbling on his and neck. Like, touching and touching oh, like, gosh. Doesn't she have her tongue in his ear at one point? Yeah, it's not good. Oh, it's, it's not, not good. good. And Monica's like, are we at the same table? Mm -hmm. like, and then she up. realizes, okay. But um, she's like, huh, I like this idea, actually. Oh, yeah, you, I get she... Bob, you get Angela? Okay. okay. And um, we and it fast forwards or whatever, and the breaking them up is working. So. For now. I mean, we find out the next scene. They walk in saying, Woo, we broke up that couple. So good. We go back to Central Park, and this is when oh, this we is... hear Chandler is like, he's... like, ba ding bing bing, ba ding bing boom, and he, he's on a caffeine high. He's had and... way too many espressos or 15. Yeah, they're all like sitting there on the table, and he whacks Janice, and she goes, Ow. Oh, ow. that's when she goes, Ow, ow, ow. That was great. Yeah. And then Janice, or not, I don't know, I don't know how Janice and Phoebe end up standing yeah, up together. But then Phoebe pretty but much Phoebe, breaks up with her yeah, for Chandler. And like they give a hug and Janice goes hmm, to Chandler and walks out and, Jan and Chandler's like, what? Wow. She's a breakup whisperer. I, yeah. I had no idea. It was so good. I don't know what she says, but it's just so cute. That she's so like, oh, I'm good at this. this. <laughs> and then we go back to the laundromat for... Like, the scene and like this is iconic this yes. is one of the best oh man so good um um the woman the horrible woman tries to steal what rachel thinks is her car like they were using it and they fight over it they tug of war and then rachel you know she's strong now she's found her That's strength right. she gets into that car and she says if you want this car then you have to take me with it she can be your own hero and, and then the woman is just like whatever and she walks away and then Ross grabs onto the car and turns it around and Rachel's like I couldn't have done it without you I couldn't oh my god that was great and she grabs his shirt car collar and gives him a kiss <laughs> and then and you went oh I know because and then I did not think Ross just like that soon I guess it was I just got shivers Ross like backs up and is just like in shock he's like yeah so I guess we should get the the clothes in the dryer or whatever and and he runs into the dryer door or whatever, and it's just like... Oh, I so know. Good. It was good. Falls to the floor. It was a great way to end the, the episode. So good. Then we get the tag scene. We're at Central Perk. We find out that Monica and Joey were successful in breaking up the couple. Um, and um, Ross has an ice pack on his head. <laughs> and Rachel's, like, comforting him and, like, I'm sorry, but, like, how is it that they did not become a couple after this Soon, like i know well like this whole thing just didn't happen like was it not a thing like for me it was a thing it's up to the writers the next episode no mention of it like she's like <laughs> sitting okay. there we like, got our first kiss <sighs> but it, but it gets erased i don't know i don't know it's just one of those did that happen did it not happen and then we were talking about it and we were like no it wasn't a date and you said, yeah, he didn't bring wine. <laughs> no, that's right, because he said, do I have to bring wine to the laundry? <laughs> yeah, he did say that. Okay, rating. Rating time. I don't actually have my rating figured out. Yeah. What's your rating? <laughs> I rated it a five. Which is Joey. Oh, Joey with the food. Yeah. It was good. It was really good. But it wasn't. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't love... Is this the first time we agree? Yeah, I don't love the Joey... Angela, Bob, that whole thing. I don't no, know. but it was funny that um, Monica's reaction to yeah, it was the interesting. Two of them. <laughs> but I love the breakup, Phoebe. Yeah, like that. Oh. That was great. Chandler is incredible in this episode. Yeah, he was good. So we both gave it a five. That is the okay. first time I think. Um, so words of thank wisdom. you. Good job, Mama. Okay, words of wisdom, Mama. Um, I was. What was I going to say? Oh, um, you're, you're not, not alone. alone, and. Um, we support you, and we hope you find some calm in the hecticness of life. Mm, but we support good. you, and you are loved and worthy. And anyways, bye, friends. Bye, friends. <laughs>